This is the end of our second year, and so we've had 900 students go through the 8th grade program. Um, the primary thing that I've seen as a building principal is our students are more engaged with the adults. Um, I've had more contact with students. Um, as part of our process, we've done what we call Morton Mondays, and about every other week I've met with the freshmen and sophomores through this process, and I try to show stories and tell things, some about school and some about outside events, trying to tie back to the eight highways uh, with the kids. We've um, used some movie clips from uh, some ESPN shows, uh, E60 and 30 for 30 and those kinds of things, of people that have overcome great odds and, and been very successful. Uh, they didn't stop, they reached for their goals and, and found their passions. And so that's been very important to us. But watching our kids interact with adults has been probably the most beneficial factor to me. I guess we went into this thinking responsibility. Um, we're looking for something to get kids to want to complete their work, to do things on time, to be responsible. Um, I'll tell you that I think maybe as I've been through this for two years, hope has maybe become to me the most important highway. We have so many kids from so many different backgrounds, have things happen in life, sometimes short term, some long term, and we want them to think and know that they can do what they can possibly do, that there's always hope for better. Um, so. Again, looking at responsibility as our goal, we've probably found that hope is more important to us. Well, when selecting trainers, first of all, um, I was lucky in my original group were people who wanted to do something with kids. They wanted actually to develop our own course in leadership and those kinds of things, so, and we found this program instead. Um, as we've grown, I actually find it most beneficial to ask the trainers who the next best trainers in our program will be. Uh, and so all of my staff have been the recent additions, at least, have been identified by current staff members. Um, next year, our freshmen will be in the program. Our sophomores and seniors will have all been trained. So we want the, the terminology, the language, the goal setting, uh, the hope, the gratitude, all of those things to be second nature to us. We want teachers in the classroom to talk to kids about hope. We want them to talk about goal setting. We want them to talk about, are you 95 under 5 in today? Where are you at? Uh, use that kind of terminology. We want it across the building not just in the 8th grade classrooms and with those trainers, but with all of our staff.